AIRS stands for Adding Insulation When Residing. When you replace the siding on your house, installers will strip off the siding and trim, leaving your walls bare. That's a once in a generation opportunity to add continuous exterior insulation. Because the expensive part is removing and replacing the siding, adding insulation when the siding is off is a no-brainer. A lot of air leaks through older houses, especially between all of the sheathing boards, but also in places where pipes, wires, and ducts go through the exterior wall. Adding exterior continuous insulation often means using rigid foam boards, taping the seams, and detailing it to perform as your air and water barrier. Contractors build new houses using this method to add thermal comfort, reduce noise from the outside, and lower energy bills. When you make the choice to replace your old siding, you can make the walls on your old house just as energy efficient as a modern home. Residing provides rare access to the bones of your house, so replacing old inefficient windows with new high performing units makes a lot of sense at this stage. If that isn't in the cards, consider low E storm windows certified by Energy Star. They're not your grandparents' storm windows. Tightening a house cuts down on the amount of work the heating and cooling system will do too. So when it's time to replace it, you might be able to save a few bucks with smaller mechanical equipment. Adding insulation when residing is a once in a generation opportunity to increase comfort, improve energy efficiency, and cut sound transmission from the outside. All of that at only incremental additional cost to the residing project you've already planned and budgeted for. The AIRS Research, Rationale, and Resulting Installation Guidelines were developed by the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory with funding from the U.S. Department of Energy. You can find more AIRS guidance at the Building America Solutions Center or the AIRS website.